I think you can apply a lot of what you learn or what you learn racing something to uh, any other category of racing that you move to, uh, especially considering that uh, the quarter midgets are pretty similar in the uh, configuration that they race to a sprint car. You get to learn a lot of the basic uh, things at a very young age in quarter midgets that I've been able to apply to both my micro racing and my sprint cars. So, so far I say that the uh, quarter midgets were such a great training tool and uh, they really helped me a lot. Well, for many, for many years I went to the races uh, as a fan watching him, so I definitely learned a lot about uh, just the whole sport in general. I was really too young to take anything away from learning a whole lot about other than just the fan perspective, but it uh, certainly served as a good background for me to uh, help me advance along and race the sprint car now. It's kind of a, a neat experience to race against people that you always looked up to and watched in racing, and along with uh, the fact that he raced against them, so he's always able to shed a little light into you know, maybe a, a few things about him that might help you uh, beat them. But uh, it's kind of a, a cool thing whenever I used to be walking through the pits when I was about five and I used to talk to people and now I'm competing against them. So it's uh, definitely a lot of fun and I'm just very fortunate to have the opportunity to do it. I originally met them through my dad, uh, so the four years they spent uh, racing uh, together themselves uh, then spilled over. There was a year off in between, and then they were uh, not currently racing with anybody else, and I was looking to move up to the micros, and this kind of seemed some, like something they'd be interested in doing. So we kind of just put a deal together to run that. And now this, uh, we're starting my fifth year with them, and everything's really going great. Well, uh, currently now around here, the local racing, he's uh, by far the best car for the last two years. So he's pretty much the benchmark everywhere you look. Uh, I think the biggest thing about Fred Raymer, or for me to Fred, is how much you have to respect him what he's done, the amount of determination he has to continue doing it, uh, not getting tired or burn out of it after a few years, the, the way he continues to do it, and uh, the older he gets, the better he gets. So just uh, if you have to take one thing away from him that you want to model yourself after, that's just to, to stay focused and uh, be determined. But he, he's definitely, uh, it's an honor to be able to race with him. And I'm sure when you look back many years from now and you're uh, telling stories to different people, to uh, be able to say you race against Fred Raymer will be really a, a testament to the, this area's racing and uh, the opportunities that I've had. Well, that's definitely uh, without question the premier division in sprint car racing. So uh, whenever you're racing with them, they are the best. So when you uh, when you beat them, you know you're beating the best, and when you're able to race with them, you know they're the best. The only way you're going to ever learn how to be as good as they are is to do it. And uh, being in this area, we uh, have quite a lot of races that are with them a year, I'd say about 15 or so, so you're able to get a lot of experience racing with them, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to apply that to the future. I mean, I've been treated by everybody that I've run into very well, and uh, you certainly appreciate uh, the well wishes and support from everybody. I think I'm um, kind of something with, or with something new, uh, different than what most of the people were used to. So the longtime fans that have gone for many years and then have a young person come along that they really weren't used to kind of created a different thing for them that they were able to relate to a little differently and uh, kind of attach themselves to. So I, uh, I do have a lot of support. I have uh, one group, the Beer Hill Gang, that uh, sponsors me, which is a, a large fan group that sits in turn three at Williams Grove. So I, I have had a, a very good relationship with all the fans that I've had, and I really appreciate it.